This is Model Eve. I am here with Larry Lawrence with photography in real life and more. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you today? All right. So tell me more about yourself. Well, my modeling name is Eve. My Instagram is Eve Lagares, spelled as is. I've been modeling since I want to say nine years old, but I've always had a passion for it. All right. I used to dress up and take pictures of myself yay high. All right, and so, wearing high heels and all them stuff. Yes, I thought I was a supermodel. <laughs> I wanted to be in music videos and everything. All right. Um, right now, I am in the middle of working with something with Larry. We're cooking up some work. All right. um, this will be my first time getting into the acting field. I've had a passion for it since Yeh High, but I never really took it serious until I met him. All right, put the bloopers in there too. <laughs> yeah, he, um, <laughs> he inspired me to, you know, just take my career a little bit more serious, you know, take it a step at a time, but also take it serious. Um, and now I'm here and we're going to work on something and I'm going to we're going to shock everyone. All right. <laughs> I'm so okay. excited. So you like the photo shoot that we did the other day? The photo shoot we had the other day was awesome. Uh, it was very easygoing. I was a bit nervous at first because it was my first time shooting with him, but he definitely set me at ease as we start. We as we began to shoot, he made me feel very comfortable in my own skin. All right. My what my insecurity places. He was just like, "Don't worry about it. You know, you just keep going. Just smile. Be beautiful and bold." And that's what I'm working on right now. All right. So. Um what really inspired you? What made you take off and just think about doing modeling and stuff like that? Well, just pretty much just always having a passion for it. It's always been there. No matter how busy my life got, I always like, you know, I got to go do this shoot or I got to, you know, send submissions out. I got to take it more serious. So, you know, just seeing others do it and with people with multiple children, it just inspired me to just keep going. All right. So that's good then. You know, so you want to be influence to women you want to empower women to do yes sir all right then okay so tell me more about that okay well i was a young mommy and i felt like once i had my first child that oh i can't do anything anymore i'm gonna be ugly i'm gonna be fat and sloppy but i realized like even after my first child i still look beautiful and now i'm on child number five and <laughs> right now it's it's yes number five <laughs> <laughs> all right um I just, I really wanted to just encourage younger women or any woman that, that is a mother and who is suffering with insecurities with their body to just go out there and just be yourself. As long as you're being yourself, people see that more than they see, you know, your little love handles and stuff like that. People enjoy just, you just being yourself and that's really what I want ladies out there to realize about themselves and just just get out there and do you if that's what you want if you want to be a model go and do it doesn't matter what shape size you come in all right so that's good that's good and um let me see what's your favorite color you have to let the people know more <laughs> my about favorite like, color is red <laughs> all right then just tell them a little bit more about you know like what type of modeling you like to do like you like to do um, swimwear, you like to do runway. Wait, what do you like to do? I'm pretty much versatile when it comes to modeling. I could fit in anywhere pretty much. Um, but I'm more or less a fashion model. I do swimwear model as well and athletic wear because I do work out. But <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. I can pretty much fit into anything, any any anywhere. Okay, all right, let me see. There's something, let me see why I was so nice. Would have liked them so bright. Yeah, man. All right, let me <laughs> see. Um, so tell people them where you grew up. Where did you grow up? I am from New York, Central Islip, New York. Yes, I am a Long Island baby. All right, a then. L.I. Stand Up, Central Islip, 11722. Um, <laughs> and uh, I spent my whole life out there. I decided when I turned 21 to move to Georgia, and I just knew it was better opportunities out here for me. Right, so, yeah. and especially being in the entertainment field, I knew it would be a lot of great opportunities for me. So, so you don't miss it though. You don't miss oh, you know, I miss Suffolk it so much. Avenue and, and other places over I there. I miss home. Centralized the train station and yes. you know other places over there. I miss and it Ferndale dearly. And Ferndale Boulevard. You know that's where I grew up. You know, see, I library. <laughs> even though you wasn't going to get no books, just want to go see who's up there. You know? We actually used to fight at the library, but <laughs> we're going to leave that right there. <laughs> but yes, I do miss home very much. I'm very much home. homesick. It smells stinking oh there. You know, so like. you know, it smells like fish. 
as soon as you walk in there, then and they got birds flying around. And then, you around. know, after you go to c you have to go to Compare, so. Exactly. <laughs> you have to, because you can't do your full shopping. No, nah, you can't go to your full shopping. <laughs> you know, Pathmark is gone, so ain't no more Pathmark. I no know. More, you so. know, that's my favorite place. I miss Pathmark. Mm-hmm. No but, more King Cullen, no more Nels Bravo. Oh, my goodness. They just turned New, New York around. Up over. The only thing still there, probably like Rainbows and mm-hmm. that CVS still there right that at the CVS, corner. That McDonald's is still right there in the back. Yeah, it's still oh there. Oh, my God. And what that, what that sneaker show? Okay, still there. No way. Still right there. Are you there. serious? Yep. They still shopping in. <laughs> Shout out to all my New York, Long Island ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they ain't even know four stores no more, but it's still called it four stores. So. Oh my goodness! You know, I literally lived right up the street from the four stores. And then Frankie D. Peace. I don't even think it's Frankie D. Peace no more. Something else. people don't even eat up there no oh more. Oh my so. goodness! Well. I just go back to visit now. Unfortunately, I don't spend too much time out there because I might not come back to Georgia. But nah, you gonna come back? Y'all wanna stay out there? Nothing no. out there. Nothing out there. <laughs> Nothing. People just drive fast, going nowhere, trying to run the light, <laughs> trying to go on Suffolk and turn. Ain't going nowhere. Ain't going to Walmart. <laughs> Let me see. Tell people some more stuff about you so they can, you know, a little familiarize themselves well, with you when they see your pictures and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> I'm very multi-talented. I model as well as I sing. I dance as well. I'm just now starting to come become a little artsy. I started right, doing right. a little canvas painting. So I'm going to see where I can take that. But right now I'm just exploring, trying right. to see exactly what where I fit in, you know? Mm-hmm. So... All right, um, no. More about me. I'm 27 years old. Again, I have five children. Don't ask me how I do it because only the good the good Lord knows how I do it. But that's another reason why um, I haven't got into me wanting to start a TV show for my children. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's called My Fantastic Five. And it's, it's really for my children. I do a couple of things on there as well. But my children want a TV show. So I'm definitely going to... That's in my future goals right all now right, to start okay. a TV show for all them. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Yep. So would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself as well? Uh, just about me. I'm just a photographer. That's it. Just a photographer, <laughs> videographer. You know, that's all I do. Yeah. Well, the what blend up, blend stuff. What made you start photography? What put that fire in your soul to get um, out here? Let me see here. I was in Tampa, Florida. I was in New York, and then I asked somebody to do some picture and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Pictures of them come out good, but then when I traveled back to Florida and I said somebody do the picture again and do some video because I was doing some workout stuff, mm-hmm. um, the person messed up the the video and stuff we shut down the gym we did a video mm-hmm. and then he was like man i ain't got no sound to the thing but i already paid the man the money now so oh i'm ready i'm about to go over there and just handle some business with right, this man so i said you know what i said let me just get the video myself mm-hmm. and he said what you gonna do with it i said don't worry yourself don't worry yourself i'm gonna mm-hmm. take a look at it when i got the video the video had sound but i guess he done shot so much video that he mm-hmm. didn't want to put it together so i ended up oh putting my it together goodness. myself and i said you know what i gotta start doing video and some photography stuff and i'm gonna show this man something mm-hmm. so i did the video i went back over there and i said you know what check out this video I said, oh yeah this look at what program he used <laughs> i said a little all of them so in a month's time you learn all this stuff i yeah. said yeah i learned a lot of stuff myself wow. he said man why you don't help me out work i said nah and about Three months after that, the man get fired from the job. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So then from there, my goal was to pretty much give people quality work. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because not really. It's about the money, but you have to give people quality, too. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So at the same time, I try to give people them work, you know, as soon as possible, like, you know, three, four days time. I don't let sit on it for like no weeks because Absolutely. the way I look at it, like if I shoot your photos today, mm-hmm. um, I want to work on it as soon as possible because it's like it's emotionally like you work on something and you yeah. go off emotion you don't just all right let me just go ahead and edit let me just cut some of these edges off and right. just do some of this and, and i'm gonna send it to them right now you gotta put you know effort into everything you do because say it would take 600 pictures right you plan to see at least 500 400 pictures or something like that exactly. you know what i'm saying not no 30 pictures you're gonna be like hold on here we're done outside for about four or five hours mm-hmm. and shoot all these pictures and I'm still in the same outfit? No. <laughs> no. Exactly. Or you don't get your pictures and you call a person and he done, he booking photo shoot after photo shoot after mm-hmm. photo shoot. He's not doing no editing. Right. So they have to realize that you can't overwork yourself. Yep. You have to schedule yourself to know how long you're going to sit on and do these photos. You know yep. what I'm saying? So Absolutely. That's, that's my thing with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's awesome. So at what age did you 
knew you had that passion in you? I don't know, probably about 15, 16, but wow. when I turned like 20, that's when I wanted to do some picture and stuff like okay. that. So it was like, then really, you know, I like the camera thing because I might have to have the little old camera then with the film, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> a little wind up something. <laughs> so I was like, yo, my mother used to go in the back and say, yo, what? Did you call my bag and take my camera stuff? <laughs> I said, no, Ma, what are you oh, talking you was about? You trouble so for the camera? About? I go down to the little uh, thing with CVS, mm -hmm. go print the pictures and look at pictures. I'm like, look at me flexing. Look oh, at this picture here. Look wow. at this picture here. Or I'll go take some pictures of some trees or different stuff yeah. like that. And then I knew, said that I like the photography, but I'm like, I'm not going to keep developing all this film. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's when, wait until it came to digital and stuff like that. I started rather do digital because. That we could just erase the SD card right. and just do stuff like that. We ain't right. got to wait on no film. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or they lose awesome. your film. Are they looking at your stuff? Like, mm -hmm. now I ain't want nobody to look at your stuff. You yeah. want to look at your stuff before somebody else look at it if you're a photographer. Exactly. Wow. So are you just a photographer? Are you an actor? No, I'm not acting. I don't want to do acting. You're doing no I'm just acting a fool. Right you know, I go out there, do some <laughs> foolish things. Because I believe in life, you know, you have one life to live. So it's right. like really that you have to enjoy life for every minute and every second that there is because you don't know when tomorrow is. You don't know when right. the person upstairs is going to pull the plug pretty mm -hmm. much. So it's like you got to pretty much just keep doing what you do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. you don't ever know. You got people dying of strokes and dying of different, yeah. different stuff like that. Yes. You know? Wow. And rest in peace to all the COVID-19 victims and my condolences to all the families who lost lives and loved ones. My sincere condolences goes out to you guys. So, Mr. Larry, <laughs> what projects are you working on right now? I don't know. I'm trying to slow down a little bit. You know what I mean, trying to slow down for this year and pretty much just gather my thoughts and stuff like that you know what i mean so with all this COVID 19 thing and everything like that you know financial things is like you really have to watch your money and watch what you're doing so you really have to be more uh you got to budget your penny or whatever you mm -hmm. say you know so you got to really watch and see what's going on first it was the thing with the stimulus thing and yeah. all of this other type of stuff and you know people losing their homes and losing their apartments yeah. and people on the street the other day i seen 15 people walking and asking for money and stuff oh like goodness. that and i'm like it's the first time i seen 15 people walking and asking for money so i was like wow it's getting really hard out here and it's holiday time as well wow so many people ain't gonna have no holiday they're lucky to have a thanksgiving i know yeah, but I, so many people were, infe were affected by it. I was affected, too. So I totally understand. I know what people are going through. So. We, we don't really know what they're going through because everybody go through different something things. different. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Some people going through some stuff worse than others. And don't forget about the depression thing. Yeah. Because you got some people that you isolated from other people. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. You isolated from people, so you don't know how to really socialize no more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then you have children. That not going to school to get the regular cold and flu that they normally get. Yeah. So it's like their immune system is going to even weaken less mm -hmm. than that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like a lot of people don't understand that. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Emotional. It's depressing. Even the emotional depression, same thing. Yeah. But depression go deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it so does. it's like you got people looking out the window at people and they don't want to talk to people. You can't talk to them. So it's like mm -hmm. six feet distance and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So it's like. Wow. So, sorry to get off topic, but have you shot any stars yet, celebrities? Or have you, know, you came so I've across been them? Like Elephant Man, Beanie Man, and stuff like okay. that. So. But, 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 but. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, in New York, how was the how was photography out there versus I don't know, Georgia? I really didn't know photography out there too much. Oh, okay. I really pretty much did it in Florida and made a big name for myself out there. Oh, awesome. Came to Atlanta and then you know I traveled, so it's like New York for me ain't no photography thing. It's all cutthroat type of stuff. Yeah. It's like modeling or videography. It's all cutthroat because everybody trying to do the same thing you trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. You got so. Them Walmart photographer, somebody go on Walmart, go pick up a camera, and the next thing they'll say, oh, I'm a photographer, you know? <laughs> you got an SD card? Oh, they use that? <laughs> Put the SD card in there. The battery running low, they don't even know how to read the camera. So, so true, like, so true. <laughs> wow. You got people mad, You trying, they trying to take your picture, and they still trying to figure out the camera at the same time. So wow. it's like... 
Wow. So tell us a little bit more about yourself. What you want to know? Me. Just Anything me. that we we don't know. No. <laughs> So I see you have a love for swords. What made you have a love for that? I do martial arts, you know. So that's mm-hmm. one of my things. I do martial arts and different, different stuff. So okay, that's awesome. So at what age did you start your martial arts? About nine. Wow, I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's nothing to play with. Then. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So not only are you for, are you a photographer, you are your own personal security. Something like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, know. more about you. Tell okay. people more about you. Siblings, things like that. You know, so. Well, my siblings, I am like kind of. One of 20. Oh my One of 40. Okay, oh. on my daddy's side, <laughs> it is 18 of us. On my mother's side, it is six of us. I am the third oldest. My, I have two older brothers on my mother's side, and I have two younger sisters and one younger brother. So I'm kind of in the middle, you know, I got middle child syndrome a little bit, but um, <laughs> um, on my daddy's side, I have no idea what order I am, but I'm somewhere in that 20. I'm somewhere in there. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, my mother, she sings. So I feel like I get the singing part from her. Um, she's also multi-talented, so I, I feel like I inherited that from her. So all I'm right, blessed. <laughs> she make you sing nobody. One of the kids them sleeps. So. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna blow her out. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so um, more about me. Um, I am a foodie. I love food. Food is everything. I'm right. currently working on my diet, taking a lot of meats out my diet. Um, just trying to be healthy. We're going into a new year. Something's got to change. You got to let people stuff always fall say off. That, that new year <laughs> thing, that a new year thing start off. It started off at it, uh, by the end of December, by the uh, second week of uh, January, it finished. <laughs> the gyms the gyms in January, the first week in January, gyms is just like overloaded. Flooded. By the 15th of January, people ain't going back to the gym no more. They're like, you know what? I like food too much. I'm not going to stop eating as much as I want to eat. I want to be full. I don't want <laughs> Yeah, absolutely right. Hopefully, I'm not in those in in that crowd. Hopefully, I, I just stick to what I'm trying to do. All right. <laughs> yep. So. All right. So you're gonna sing? Get out of the way. <laughs> Wait. What am I singing? <laughs> I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice. To worship thee, O my soul, rejoice. That's it. (laughs) I forgot the words. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have paid attention in church. (laughs) Oh. Next. Yeah. Next. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't even know the whole Amazing Grace. No, man. Don't worry. Do it. Okay. Amazing Grace. How sweet. The sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Welcome back. I am here with Larry Lawrence and photography in real life and more. I have Naomi Hicks right here with me, my beautiful daughter. She is six years old. Would you like to tell them a little something about yourself? Um, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I like to sing a lot and I like to dance a lot. Mm-hmm. I have fun with my mother. 
can. What kind of what kind of dancing do you like to do? You like to do any kind? Yeah. Okay, what are what are you currently practicing right now at home? What's your favorite thing to do with your sister? Doing contortionist. Can you say that again in the mic? Doing contortionist. Contortion. Ooh. So you're flexible? Yeah. Wow. How flexible are you? A lot. You want to show us a move? Mm. You don't want to show us yet? What about your leg up? Uh-uh. Not yet. Okay, you're, she's still working on it. Okay, so can you tell the can you tell our viewers what our YouTube channel is? Yeah. What's it called? It's called. I forgot what my my Fantastic Five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How do you like our My Fantastic Five YouTube page? Good. You like it? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, how are you doing right now? Since you're not in school, how does it make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel good. It makes you feel good? You like? Do you like virtual learning versus in person? Yeah. You do? Your friends? You don't? Yeah. You miss yeah. your friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you tell us a few friends that you miss? I miss... Maria and what's her name? And Miss and Miss Belinda. Miss Belinda. Okay, well shout out to you, Maria and Miss Belinda. You must have stuck in her core memory. <laughs> so what's your favorite part of virtual learning right now? Um Math. Math? Ooh, you're smarty. Okay, that's awesome. What do you like about math? It's like, mm-hmm. like the numbers, they help me count. Okay. And do a lot of learning. Oh, that's awesome. So, do you want to let them know that you, you can speak two languages? Yeah. What other language do you speak? I speak French. Okay, can you say something in French for us? Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. And what does that mean? It means hello. Wow. And how do you say goodbye? Au revoir. Au revoir. Wow, that's incredible. I'm proud of you. Yeah. How long has it been since you started learning French? Uh, just a while. A while? Like maybe a year? No. A while. A while. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Yeah. Wow. And how old are you? I'm six. Six? Wow. What do you plan to be when you grow older? I want to be a contortionist. Mm-hmm. And I want to be a doctor. Wow. Dr. Hicks. What kind of doctor? And, um, what kind of doctor would you like to be? I would really like to be hospital doctor. Hospital doctor, so like a RN, mm. like a registered nurse. Yeah. Okay, wow, that's incredible. You want to follow behind mommy? Yeah. <laughs> well, either way, you just shoot for the stars. I support everything you're trying to do when you get older. Yeah. Awesome. So I. Guess that's all for now. Thank you so much for joining the Larry Lawrence Show today with Real Photography and more. Thank you so much, Naomi. Yeah. Okay. Have a- so, what do you like to do a lot? Uh, my favorite thing to do is spend family time, of course, be with my children. Outside of that, I love to model. I love to dance, sing. Also. I love going to work. Right now, I am a nurse assistant, and I'm working on my RN license right now. So, yes, that, are, that those are my top things to do. Do you like to do you like to teach your kids a lot? 
Yes, I love to teach my children. Yes, I, I want them to be bright stars when they grow older. So teaching them is very essential outside of school. Mm -hmm. um, do you like being on TV? Because I do. <laughs> Yes, I I enjoy it. It's a little bit nerve wracking at first, but once you get comfortable, it definitely is. It's like a adrenaline rush. I love it. The last question: mm -hmm. Do you like Do you like to go to church? I love to go to church. It definitely replenishes my soul each week. After a crazy long week, I need that. So I definitely enjoy going to church. So you're going to the TV your name? Yes, my name is Ivana Powell. My stage name is Eve. Um, I got the stage, the name Eve from when I was younger. My family used to call me Evelina because I had this... I had very chinky eyes, so it made me look evil. So instead of calling myself Evelina, I decided to name myself Eve. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. You have a beautiful name as well. What's your name? My name is Naomi Hicks, middle name Divine. Wow, Divine. How beautiful is that? Do you know what your middle name means? No. Ah, well, Naomi means beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and divine. We gotta look up. We gotta look that up again. <laughs> Go over that. <laughs> okay. Hicks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not sure the definition of Hicks. <laughs> um, that's all the question. That's all for now. Okay, well, you can close. Do you have a, a remark you would like to say before we leave here? Mm, yeah. Okay, what would you like to tell them? I would like to tell them that I'm really proud of myself. Wow. And being on TV. Wow, I'm proud of you too, Naomi. This is literally your first time. Yeah. Wow. So who inspired you to do this right now? Yeah. Me and who else? Yeah. What's his name? Larry? Yeah. Larry Lawrence? Larry Lawrence. Yeah, he inspired you to get up here. He made you put your fears aside. That's awesome. I'm proud of you, girl. Yeah. Woo! This is just the beginning, so stay tuned. This is real. F this is Larry Lawrence with Real Photography and more. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye. Later. Good evening. We are here with, what's your name? Bray Marie. And how old are you? 10. All right. We are with Larry Lawrence. He is behind the scenes right now. This is Real Photography and More. So, Bria, tell us a little about yourself. I do gymnastics. Gotta put the mic to you. <laughs> I do gymnastics. Okay. Tell us a little about the gymnastics that you do. That being splits, walkovers, front walkovers, and chest stands. Wow. So have you ever did a gymnastics class? No. I so just did it on my own self. Wow. You self-taught yourself? So where have you done most of, where have you been teaching yourself? My friends teach me some. And where, where do you do your, where do you do your practicing? In the living room. In the living room at home? Wow. So have you mastered anything yet? I will do some. So what are you, what is your best contortion move right now? What's your favorite? Backbone flip. The backbone flip? Ooh, I wish we had some more room. I'll say show us. <laughs> do you think you can show us something? You, do you want to show us something? What would you like to show us? Back bend. A back bend. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to see it from there. Can you do something standing up? No, no, standing up. Okay. How long has it been since you've been doing gymnastics? 
Last year. Last year? Wow. So it's been about a year now. And you look and you know that much? Wow, you're a fast learner. So how how are you taking this not in person school right now, this virtual learning? How does it make you feel? You don't like it? What don't you like about it? Because we have to do work. You have to do work? <laughs> well, you got to do work if you want to get somewhere. So, do you miss your friends? Wow, who are a couple of friends you can think of that you miss? Haley, Tykera, and... That's all. Big ups to Haley and Tykera. She loves you. <laughs> Well, you'll be able to see them again after everything is over. We we don't have a date yet, but hopefully sometime next year. So tell us a, a little bit about the YouTube channel, My Fantastic Five. It's fun and funny. <laughs> it's fun and funny? You're doing some funny things on there? <laughs> wow. So how old are you? Ten. Ten? Wow, you're a big ten. <laughs> so what are what's your favorite color pink pink why do you like pink because it's a nice good good girly color good girly color okay so what are your goals are what, do you, what, what would you like to be when you grow older doctor and a contortionist wow so you want to be a doctor dentist you want to be a do oh okay that's awesome and a contortionist yeah okay that's good that's good that's awesome i support everything you want to do when you get older shoot for the stars so um how would you like to be on a tv show someday i don't know you don't know well all you gotta do is be yourself you know you're funny and smart and cool so I think you would do just well. Right? Okay. Do you have any, like, artists that you like right now? Like singing or hip-hop? Singing and dancing and... What are some artists Some artists you like? Drawing myself. Um, what, what type of, um, like, musical artist do you like? Like Beyonce, uh, Rihanna. Who can you say that you like to listen to the most? Um, um, and it doesn't have to be Beyonce. Who? It's whoever you enjoy listening to. It can be hip hop too. What do you like to dance to? Dance. What's your favorite song to dance to? The Savage. The Savage? What's The Savage? And who is it by? Cardi B. It's by Cardi B? All right, now Cardi B. <laughs> so you like Savage by Cardi B. I, I believe that's by Megan The Stallion. I believe that's who it's by. Shout out to you, too. Um, <laughs> so you like to listen to her? Do you know the dance? Can you show us real quick? I'll do it with you. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it real quick. Is that really how you do it? Or you be feeling it more than that? Are you a little shy right now? Because I think you be feeling it more than that. Come on, let's start from the top. Ready? Go. I'm a savage. Classic, bougie, ratchet, a sassy, moody. Why are you laughing? I can do it. Oh, I, can I, do I, it. I don't know how to do the dance. I can do it. Guys. I can do it. You gonna do the dance for her? Okay. Hey. Come on, we we gonna bring somebody else to do it because I can't do it. Yeah, ready? You can do it. All
Ready? On the count of three, you guys gonna do it. Ready? Go. I'm a savage. A. Classic, booty, ratchet. A. Sassy, moody. I don't like that word. What's happening? A. What's happening? A. I'm a savage. <laughs> Good job, girls. They just taught us how to do the. So, what do you like to do with the assistant? Gymnastics. I know. Um, what kind? Pepper flips. Yeah. So, when, what do you want to do when you grow up? Contortionist. Yeah. All right, what else? Um, anything else wanna be? A dentist. Mm. So, do you like to play? Mm -hmm. Or do you like to go on your phone? <laughs> go on my phone. Uh, so, you have anything else to say to the TV? No. Say hi to Grandma. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hey, everyone. And your name is Brie Marie Diobi. Maria. Marie. Diobi Hicks. Alright. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thank you. Please like this movie. Bye. Say bye to Lori Lorax. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on, go on. Sit down yeah. Hey, we're gonna break to off or something. <laughs> like she was gonna like she was gonna break it. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Lori Lorax, and we're, today we're going to be talking to him. All right, so what do you want to ask me? Do you like to go to school? Mm, when Maybe I went to little. school, I didn't like school, but I went. Do you like to go to work? Yeah, I like doing the photography and video work. Do you get tired of work sometimes? Mm, sometime when I have to drive far, but not really. No. So, do you like doing math or reading? I don't like doing either one really, but I do both because math comes in when you have business and you have to do your bills and everything like that. And the reading has to be, you have to read your bills to know how much you have to pay. Do you like having kids? Yeah. What else you want to ask me? Uh, when are you going to be on TV? You know, probably in the day. Probably by tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Do you like to be on TV? Yeah. Or at this point, as I'm on TV so much, so it don't even matter anymore. But I like it. I like going different places, meeting different people, and making people happy. Like the kids on the TV show today. Mm. When you were little, what did you like to do? Climb trees. Eat food. And watch cartoons. Yeah. I like to play. Oh, yeah, I did gymnastics, too. 
What kind? Back flips, front flips, cartwheel. Can you show us some? No, today I'm bigger, heavier, so I don't really do them anymore. Only thing I probably do is cartwheels. Can you try? Not today, not in here, place small. Turn there. Mm. Um. Let me run out of question. Do you like, do you like playing outside? Because I do. Yeah, I like playing outside. Playing outside is fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all the questions. All right, then. Thanks for coming on the Larry Lawrence Show. Photography yeah. in Real Life. I'm more. Give our round of applause for coming on the yeah, show. One more question. Oh, she have another question. What's your name? Larry Lawrence. You gonna remember that this time? Larry Lawrence. Yes. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for watching Larry Lawrence. Bye. Yeah, you want to sing with me too? This? This? Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to be singing a Christmas song for Christmas. And the song is called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay. Welcome back. And today we're going to be singing a Christmas song for the holidays. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yes, start us off. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yes, Father is green and you are the best. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Woo! Happy Holidays! Thanks for watching. Photography in mm. real life. In real life. And more. And more. I'm showing you the run again. I'm showing you Savage Love. You look first. from real life and I'm going to be talking to the TV show. Hey grandma, hey friends, hey teacher and if you're watching me my name is Naomi Hicks. I'm six years old. Birthday is February 16th and hey family. Now you turn. You want the film to still on? Yeah, you got to see. Uh, I'm 
Thomas and Amy. Mary Lawrence. Hey guys. Welcome to Lori Lori Lorex. I want to talk about myself. Um I'm ten years old and my birthday is on June twenty ninth. Alright. Hey guys, look at to Lori Rolex and say I'm going to be talking about myself. So I'm ten years old and my and my birthday's on June tonight and I do gymnastics. Hey, my name my name is Naomi Hicks. And I'm going to be talking about myself also. I like playing with my sister. I like playing with my family. And I do contortionist. I'm going to be anything when I grow up. I'm going to be a doctor. And I'm going to be a contortionist. And I'm going to be teacher. And doctor. Hospital doctor. And my favorite color is purple, pink, and light blue. Um, and my favorite color is pink. And Any other color? And red. And what I like to do when I'm home, I like to play outside, play on phone, and, and I like, I like, I like playing with my family. You like to Me talk too. anything? Yeah. Thank you for watching Larry Relax. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm me, Larry Lawrence, and I would like to thank the ladies for coming on the show today. Give them a round of applause because they was very good and you know, really felt comfortable on the camera. So that's what I want. You know, I don't want nobody to come on the camera and really feel like they nervous or nothing like that. But they did very, very good. And I really appreciate them coming on and everything like that. And I would definitely like to have them on here another day. So with that said, enjoy the rest of the show. Yo, everybody out there, this is Larry Lawrence. Photography in a real life or more. I want everybody who have a dream out there to realize who you are and you have a purpose on life. The reason I did this video right now over the water so everybody, everybody can get this message that life is rough. So many people going through so many things right now because of the pandemic. 
and the virus out there. So many people are scared to leave their homes and everything like that. But people out there, if you have a dream and you have something that you're really passionate about and you're focused on in life and like me with my photography and my videographer work. I put this thing to a real test when I made a TV show. And I made episode after episode after episode. But what the first episode I made wasn't even really that good. And I have to learn certain things I have to teach myself because when I go to people and I ask them, can you teach me this or can you teach me that? They say, no, you can't look it up on YouTube or you can't teach yourself. I remember when I needed a program and somebody couldn't even give me a program or nothing like that. They couldn't even give me no idea what to do with a certain video, how to do this and how to do that and how to do everything else. So what I'm saying right now with that message is that people, when you want something in life, you have to teach yourself, you have to focus yourself. Because like I said, everybody out here have a purpose in life. And you have to realize what your purpose in life is. Some people go through life and they don't realize they have a purpose, but I'm telling you, if you have a dream, do it, pursue it. Because when those Jordans come out, people just go get it. They don't know how to relax. They don't know how to do this and they don't know how to do that. But let me tell you something. If you have a dream, you have a passion. And your passion, keep pushing. Keep pushing because I tell you that because so many people give up. They try something. They give it. That's not for me. I'm going to try something else. It's too hard. Let me tell you something. If you want something in life, it's hard because if it comes too easy, it don't last long. So anything you want, you have to work for it, and then you have to pursue it, and you have to really be dedicated to it because business don't come overnight, and if it do, sometimes people don't really realize the success and how to hold on to it because sometimes if I still get money, the more they spend it, you have to invest in your business. Sometimes it takes everything that you got to really hold the business together. So that's what you really have to understand. That business ain't easy. It's frustrating at times because you have to deal with different people. Depending on what kind of business you have, because some businesses don't really have to deal with people. You can't just deal with the internet. But you have to realize that, like I said, life has its ups and downs. So you have to know how to go with the ups and downs because let me tell you something true. In our life, there is depression. And so many people is depressed because they have. They're not making enough money. They're not going on look about something else to go make enough money. They're not doing no side hustle, like a little side job or something like that. If they have a regular job they've been doing for 10 years, they just staying on the job and complaining about that. And they're not trying to do nothing else with it. But what I'm saying right now is that if you have a passion, then keep pursuing your passion, keep pursuing your dream, and keep pursuing your dream. If it take one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, that's something that you really want. So keep pushing what you want in life. Because when I tell you, so many people out there don't know what they want in their life. And they just keep trying different things that's not even for them. So you have to keep trying in life, not easy. This is why I make this video out here, so that way, so many people can put yourself to peace and relax. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, we're so stressed out about so many different things that it's unbelievable. So if you watch the sunset, watch the little ocean, relax your mind, your body, and your soul. Because some day, sometime, you have to rest. Nine times out of ten, we're going 24-7, sleeping. When we, when we can, instead of when we need to, we need rest. So, the message today is really, believe in yourself, rest, focus, understand, read. And don't listen to people that tell you that you can't do it, because you can do it. Believe in yourself.
and keep pushing. Everyone on earth has a purpose. Sometimes we live life and we don't realize that we have a purpose and we're not here just living. Me personally, I don't want to be here just living because I know I have a purpose. So focus your mind, body, and soul and relax. Larry Lawrence, today I'm with Marcus J. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday we was at downtown Atlanta. We was just out there. This man was playing his saxophone. This man does great things. He's been playing saxophone since. What, 96? That's like forever. <laughs> Yeah. 